So majority of the young people in their generation mm. um, don't speak Bangla. Shuddha Bhasha to boli na, jai bhai boli amra. We don't even pronounce it properly, and we cannot even f tell our kids to go to a GCSE in even normal schools. You can do mm. it in any language. So. Who should take responsibility for that? You, do you think they blame the parents or do you think <coughs> the students in general? I think first of all it is the parents. Karan holo, ami kinto originally language teacher. <laughs> my master's is in linguistics, applied linguistics. And my MA, PhD is in education. And I did my PGC in community languages and as a tutor in Goldsmith for community languages, PGC program. So my background is actually teaching languages. I mean, it was not so good to look into Arabic. So, I'm other language, I'm not sure what I'm doing. J children are multilingual, they are more confident. And they can contribute in their own fields better than anyone who is not multilingual. मुझे कौन डॉक्टर? कौन डॉक्टर जो भी मल्टीलिंगुअल है देख बन? He is in his profession. He is contributing more than any other doctors. If someone is engineer, if someone is even politician, if someone is civil servant and he or she is a multilingual, अब देख बन तार कम्युनिटी देख किन्तु तार वोकल. अपनी मनो करन, अपनी बांग्ला जाने, इंग्लिश जाने, you know some Hindi and Farsi, you know, you are a multilingual person. So your position within your fellow Mm. Uh, colleagues, I, I believe uh, you stand out because of this multilingualism. So, our mother's children are multilingualism. After that, when the other confidence, when TV they are shown, it requires a kind of confidence. Of confidence. <laughs> but do you think <coughs> that um, we are going to we are going to lose the generations of people who don't have any link with Bangla language itself? Who doesn't have Bangla language, you know, have any communication with Bangladeshi, um, anything there? <coughs> because they don't speak, they don't know. And so I'm going to tell them just before you came, my s I couldn't take my kids to Bangladesh for 18 years. Mm. I'm sorry, that's my mistake. I take that. That means their kids no, will not even think of us. We're losing, you know, we might lose the generation. Uh, I think um, there are two parts. One is knowing the language itself, not necessarily have to go back to Bangladesh and stay there and live there. Because language itself is a transferable skill, or it gives transferable skills, like using the sentences, metaphors, and etc., similes. Uh, they can use them in English, French, and other foreign languages. So even though they are not going back to Bangladesh, these the skills they have learned in Bangla will be used in other languages. And I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure that they will do far better in English than people who are not doing any other language. We, we must actually appreciate this. It's actually three-way communication, teacher, parents, and students. Alhamdulillah, in our case, everyone played their role very, very efficiently. That's the fruits. Yes, Alhamdulillah.